we're going to make a packet connection here on VHF, so let's uh, make a connection first to a, a KA node and another Cantronics TNC. This is WA8ZZM-1. Whoops. Don't want the bulletin board, we want the node, so let's do that again. WA8ZZM-7 is the node. And from there, we're going to connect to a station we can't reach directly. We have to use a node or a digipeter to get there. It's NX8A-1. That's a BPQ bulletin board. And we're going to list the messages, see if there are any messages for us in the bulletin board. And there are no messages, so let's uh, let's send Jack a message. NX8A, we're going to send a message to NX8A. You send messages in a BPQ bulletin board the same as you do in a Cantronics TNC based bulletin board. You don't have to wait for these prompts to enter the title of the message or the message text. Uh, I'm just doing it to keep the screen a little uh, a little more organized here. You'll see on the TNC the status light stays on as long as there's an unacknowledged packet to be sent from the TNC. Uh, so we can start typing our text now. Slash EX ends the message. Just like in a TNC based bulletin board, you can see the status light is staying on until WAAZZM acknowledges the packet. And it's been acknowledged, all the packets have been acknowledged by ZZM. You can actually have more than one packet in the queue uh, to be sent. I'm going to go to the command mode for a minute, and that's set with the max frame. Max frames on VHF is four. So you can have up to four uh, packets. Uh, being sent at the same time, uh, the length of the packet is set by packet length. P A C L E N. Packet length on uh, HF is 60 uh, characters. On VHF, it's 128. Normally, uh, packet on HF is a is a little more difficult. You have more QSB, more QRM, and shorter packets uh, get through better. Uh, max frames on HF is usually shorter also. Max frames on HF by default is 1 and on VHF is 4 and that's those are those are pretty good settings to just stick with the defaults on that. So there we have it. Uh, go back to conversation mode. Now on a BPQ node we can uh, uh, correction on a BPQ station we can switch from the bulletin board to the node. All you do is type the node command when the bulletin board receives the node command it'll transfer you from in this case, NX8A-1, which is the bulletin board, it'll transfer you over to NX8A-7, which is the BPQ node. So we're going to make one other quick connection here on a two-node path from ZZM to NX8A. And then we're going to connect to uh, WA8Y. Now, on a BPQ node, you have to tell it the port that you want to connect on. Uh, so we're going to connect on port 1 to WA8Y-1. Uh, it's another bulletin board I can't reach directly. Now this is a two node path. See the status light just went out.
and there we're connected to WA8Y. Uh, that message came from the node NX8A-7. We'll get the uh, greeting message from WA8Y here anytime now. And there it is. And I'm not going to leave a message here. I'm, I'm going to list the last two. The uh, reason I'm not is uh, uh, Steve has been busy, hasn't been able to get in and uh, read his messages lately. So uh, there are a few unread messages in there. So we're not going to add to the unread messages. We'll just show you how to make a two-node hop. Now, when, when you're connected to a Cantronics uh, TNC, and this is a KPC3, you can see that when you connect, it tells you what uh, what software or TNC they're running. If we scroll back up to when we connected to NX8A-1, you can see up here it's a BPQ station. But this is a Cantronics TNC, a KPC3. So we're uh, here. We we can't connect to a node. We can't make other connections. On the only thing we can do is use the bulletin board. So we're all done. So we're going to send the letter B to disconnect. And that goes through two nodes in this process. Now we're partially disconnected from the first node. And now we're completely disconnected. If we do a status long, we'll see that all our streams and the bulletin board, the remote connection, and the node in and out are all disconnected. So we're completely in a disconnected state. And we're, we're going to do another one here uh, in the next video uh, with an HF uh, contact. Right now the HF port is disabled. Uh, let's, I'll enable the HF port with, by sending HBOD 300. Uh, you'll see the tuning indicator on the HF port is now live. Uh, the HBOD command, uh, as explained in a previous video, is used to set the BOD rate in each port, 300 for HF, 1200 for VHF. And setting either port at zero disables that port. So both ports are enabled right now. And uh, in a moment, we'll see about making an HF contact.